Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to use this ESP32 gateway to learning IR signal and IRF signal and send it by MQTT protocol so that you can use your own program or you can use any smart home platform to send MQTT message uh, This way card can connect case 86 it UR uh, That is the ESP32 gateway It has the IR receiver and IF receiver and IR send and RF send inside also have DS18B20 temperature sensor and LD, RGB LD strip inside of this PCB board. I just use this for example, tell you how to learning RF and IR signal and send it. Actually, you can use any ESP32 board. It's very easy. So at the first, you need to confirm which is your remote. Uh, this one is RF remote that work with the 433 MHz and this one that is IR remote so the different remote have different protocol we will use a different MQTT command so that's the first you need to make sure confirm your remote is which type and this is RF because just is wireless and this is IR remote I have used this Apple TV's remote and it can, it can easy to confirm. You can see uh, this is a window that has IR turbo. So you can see if I press this button, that you can see uh, this red, uh, red light. Uh, this only can see this red by the camera. If you can use your eyes, uh, see this one, it can see this uh, red uh, light. And also you can use your mobile phone to test. Uh, maybe you have not have the camera, but you have the mobile phone. You only can use the Android phone and not use the iPhone. The iPhone can't detect it. I can take example for you how to check the IR signal. Okay, let's test with the Android phone firstly. You can see I can use this camera application. And you can see uh, this is Android phone camera and this is my IR remote. And you can see I can press this button and you will see uh, the red light. Okay. Now I change to use my iPhone. So you can see, also I have used this camera. I use this camera and the IR remote, you can see, I press this button, I can't see the red light. So this is important to make sure you have used the Android phone and not the iPhone to test the IR signal. Okay, now the first step, we will download the KCS firmware to this UR. So that will be very easy to use the uh, KCS firmware and you can just use MQTT command. And you can see, I can use this USB cable and connect to this box right here. And this just connect with my computer. Okay, now you can see this in our phone that can download the KCS firmware that is the newest. And always we will update, just to check the newest version. You can see the KCS system, uh, uh, just I downloaded from this version of firmware. And you can see uh, that have four different, so much different ESP32 board. And this time we can choose this one, this for UAR. Okay, then you can download it. I have already downloaded it. So now I can use this ESP download tool. Just this one and choose ESP32 chip and press OK. And at here, uh, you will see, you just open this file. Uh, this file I have already downloaded, this bin file. And the address input uh, just zero. So, OK, we can choose the compound and start. Now you can see the firmware began downloaded to this ESP32 board. So that will be uh, quickly. And after this box download, we just need to repower on. Okay, you can see now the download complete. I can op close it and uh, close it. And just power off and power on again uh, for reset the board. And now you will see I can use this Wi-Fi enable your Wi-Fi and you will find the AP signal that generate from this box. 
So that have a Wi-Fi AP mode. So we can connect it. Okay, this is connected. And you can click it here. And you will see uh, this IP address is this one, uh, 4.1. So we can open in web browser. Just import. OK, you can see this is KCS web page. The first we need to login and configure it as a Wi-Fi station mode. So because I need this box connect with my Wi-Fi load directly. So I can login it firstly. And now you can see the network. And we, the, because now the default is AP mode, so I need to change to STA mode. And this is my load, SSID, and the password. You just fill yourself and press C and press OK. And now we can close this window. And now we can open this KingCony scan device tool that can scan all KingCony devices in local network. And you can see, I can just click Start Monit and press Scan. And this you will see that have found the new IP address of the UR box. So I can use this IP address to login. Enter and admin, admin. Okay, now you can see uh, the URL we have logged. And you can see it here. And this is for IR and RF. You can learn it here. And the monitor, also you can detect the sensor because this, this have a temperature sensor inside. If you want to use it, you can also can click sensor. And choose the sensor type to DS18B20. And you can import. Uh, 0.6, okay, save it, and we'll auto restart. After restart, we can refresh. Okay, now we can click monitor. Okay, you will see this temporary sensor is detect uh, from this board. That is uh, just for temperature sensor function. And now I will show you how to learning the signal from the IR remote and IF remote. And the first you can see, we can click it here if you want learning this RF remote. And here you can see I use my this RF remote to control this really board. I have used this remote, you can see, click. Uh, this will be on. Just I use the uh, E16T board uh, to control this by the remote. Click again, that will be off. So we just will learning this button for turn on this relay and how to send it by MQTT. Now we can read this from the remote signal. You can see the first, I just click learn. And we can click this one. You can see successfully. So that the signal have sent out to this box. The box have learning the signal. So you can see I can Click close. And the ID1, that is the first button of my remote. So you can test it whether you have learning successfully. And at here, you can see I have used this one and connected it and put it here so that I will use this box to continue this relay. And now you can see I will press this button transmit. Okay? You can see as the relay is off. So this means I press this yellow button transmit that have send. I have learning the signal. So you can see I can transmit again, press. Okay, you can see the LD is on, the relay is on. So that means I have learning the signal successfully and send out the signal is successfully. And then next I will learn the IR remote. And also the way is, is seen. You can see I can click the IR and I will learn the, the, this button from the learn button. And at here you can see I have used this Apple TV. So this is my screen I have connected with the Apple TV. And this time I will use this one 
uh, to learn the left and learn the right button. So you can see in my Apple TV, I can use this remote and to left or right. You can see the icon. I change to left, I change to right. So the first time I learning this to turn left. You can see I can put the UL in front of this Apple TV because the UAR sends the IR signal from this, this body. This body is transmitted the IR signal. So I can plant it here. So the signal will send to the Apple TV. Now I will to learning this one. So you can see I press learn and I press this button to my UAR box. You can see the signal have learned successfully. I can close it. Now I will test it whether it turn left. And you can see uh, this have at here, the place. And I press this button, transmit. And you will see that is turn left. Okay? And now I can learn it on another side. I can learn it this right, the right position. So you can see I can press this learn and I can press this right button. Okay, and you can see that is successfully. I can press close. Then now I have learning the two buttons for left and for right. And you can see I can click this transmit. You can see that is turn right. And I can click transmit. And you can see that is turn left. So I have controlled this Apple TV by this IR signal. Okay, the last step, I need to use the MQTT command to send out the IF signal and the IR signal. Now, my computer already have an MQTT book have installed. So I just use the UAR to connect with my computer uh, by the MQTT message. And you can see, uh, this is my computer IP address. Uh, this is my 100 is my computer IP address. So I can also use MQTT box to debug the MQTT message. And you can see it's here. I have created this is MQTT connection. This is my compute. As uh, you can see, uh, this MQTT broke, broke IP address, and this is the port, this is part 1883, that is the default MQTT part, and the username MQTT and the password is 123. So just click save uh, as this setting and press, press save, that have connected. The MQTT box is a client, have connected with my MQTT broke. So now I just want the ESP32 connect with my MQTT book. So you can see at here, and the protocol, and the January, and you will find the MQTT options. So we, we enable this MQTT options. And the book IP address, uh, you can just import as uh, this one. Okay, uh, this is my book IP address at here, at here, at here. And the port is this one. And the book username and the password. So just set this information and enable this one and press save. Restart. And you can press refresh. Okay, that is restarted and now we can click this monitor and you will find this MQTT is connected uh, this icon become green so that have connected to block successfully and the last we just use the MQTT perk send the command uh, you can see in our form that KCS MQTT protocol at here MQTT protocol document and press and just open this one. Okay, uh, this MQTT protocol, you can see, I uh, use for so much different uh, module of Kinkoni Bard. And 
we just find out at the last uh, because we need to send RR signal and RF signal and also we can control the beep because these are beep inside of the UR. So we can test with the beep firstly because you were listening uh, the beep sound. And here we can see uh, MQTT command, just this one. You can copy and paste. Just set this beep and the value is 1, that beep will be on. And the value is 0, that beep will be off. So you can see in MQTT box. And I just paste at here. And press this one. Uh, before I press this one button send, you can subscribe. Uh, this scrap the state and this is the topic of the publish the, you can see uh, this one just use your third part your ID you can see where to find this ID you can see in your KCS web page and the index and you will find the server number uh, just this one so you can copy your ESP32 bar uh, just server part and to your MQTT topic at here, just this topic. And this not change, and this not change is model name. And also is a change this for state. So you can subscribe, uh, that you can see the sensor, uh, MQTT message. Now I can send the command uh, to beep for one. That means beep on, you can see I can publish. So this one is beep. And this is MQTT feedback that have value successfully, beep successfully. So if you want to turn off the beep, so you can see I just change the one to zero. So I can press publish. You can see I can control this beep. So sometimes maybe you have a LT application that the temperature is high or the temperature low. So you can use the MQTT to let the beep on and let the beep off. Okay, this is the beep. And the next, we will look at the protocol, and I will show you how to send IR signal. Uh, this is IR signal. So I just copy this one command. Copy and paste at here. And now you can see I have changed, I have changed this icon in center. And now you can see, I can send this one, the first ID, uh, you can press publish. And you can see the icon become left. And now you can see, I can send the second uh, IR signal, that is turn right. And I just changed to the value to two. So you can see, I can publish it. And you will see that have turned right. Uh, because I have, what I'm learning, I have hold on the right button for a long time so that have learned the long signal so that you can see the icon is turn right for two times uh, but this is no problem you can re relearn this again it's okay so you can see what i change to value is one id one you can see that turn left and i change to two that publish is turn two so this I have sent the IR signal uh, from the MQTT message. Okay, if you want to send IR signal, I want to use this, uh, send this signal to control this relay on and off. So you can see, I just can delete this one. And also you can see that have for RF signal. That is for uh, ID1, RF signal, copy and paste at here okay now we will use this ur and send the signal to this wireless receive module that is a wireless receive module and pay attention to my relay one and you can see i can press publish and you can see uh, the red early is on so this rf signal is sent by the mqtt you can see i can press this button again to publish and you can see the relay is off so the first ID of this learner signal have sent out uh, to the receive module. So this is how to use ESP32 uh, send the IF and IR signal by MQTT. Thanks for watching.